Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Environmental resources. Environmental resources. This is not a new topic. We have treated this topic in SS1 and it's just a build up of what we have learned. We, we know what is environment and we know what is resources. What are those resources that we studied in our previous uh, classes? We talk about human resources. Uh huh. We talk about what? We talk about uh, vegetation resources. Uh huh. We talk about mineral. Uh huh. We talk about what? Water. Water resources. Then, what again? We have mineral, we have human, we have vegetation. We talk about mineral resources. Name them the the coal, the tin and columbite, the iron ore and uh, all other types of, uh, of minerals and their contribution to the economic growth. We have discussed that extensively in our previous uh, class and also we look at water resources. We said water resources, what can we get from here? We talk about water, the use of water, generation, of hydroelectric power can be used for domestic purpose can be used for what for agricultural uh, purpose that is irrigation can also be used for industrial purpose and also even for fishing and it can also create employment and when we talk about atmospheric there are some innate gases in the atmosphere that man cannot do without so all these form what we call environmental resources so we should know them and know what you know the role they can play as in the economic development of any nation or as an individual so this is all we have to say about environmental uh, resources but where we want to look at it is um, uh, it to some topics that are related to this one number one we talk about environmental problems. Environmental problems. We have also discussed this one, but then number two, we talk about environmental conservation. Environmental conservation. How do we conserve our environment? What way? How can we conserve it? Let's look at environmental problems. There are many problems, issues confronting the environment. Number one is environmental pollution. We have discussed that one in our pre previous uh, class. But it's related to environmental resources because all these resources, when you tap them directly or indirectly, they may have effect on the environment. This annexing of these resources can create environmental problem on its own. But in other way around, there were our effects, our activities within the environment can also lead to environmental problems that we itemized in our previous uh, class. Like when we talk about you know deforestation deforestation is the felling down of trees illegal felling down and once you cut down trees many things happen you expose the soil within that environment to excess solar radiation and when you do that what happens? there will be the, the soil will be so hard unproductive and another one is that you can you even expose the soil to erosion and erosion is one of the environmental problems. So, in our quest to harness uh, vegetation resources, we can expose the soil 
to environmental hazard or ever when, when we talk of environmental problems we look at you know global warming global warming climate change all these are the problem facing environment what are what are we doing or how are we encouraging global warming in our own uh, little ways number one when you indiscriminately dispose or dump refuse that ought not to be you are adding adding to the environmental issue we talk about environmental pollution is one of the environmental problems when you discharge your waste either effluent industrial waste or uh, you know clinical waste and all those waste into the environment you are damaging the environment and uh, what of uh, when we talk about the other you know form of uh, environmental problems Let, let's look at the climate change issue the climate change is as a result of your activities my activities the change in pattern of climate as a result of your activity you know, has increased the temperature recently and this leads to you know what we discussed earlier what we call desert encroachment the desert is encroaching inland on a yearly basis because of so all these are the problems that face environment then how can we solve it if we know the problem how can we solve it so we can solve it number one by environmental education educate people about the danger that the activities post on the environment we doing that we enlighten them let them know through that we can mitigate it number two we can do what we call afforestation in terms of what deforestation we afforestate, it we replant so that we can regain the lost soil back number uh, three we can do uh, do that through uh, you know legal means you know enacting a law to guide against this type of uh, of no in, in Nigeria we have you know environmental regulation you know uh, agency that regulate the type of discharge we discharge into the environment if they work that is another different case but these agencies are set up by the government so that they can monitor the abuse of the environment so through that we can help in mitigating the problems that environment is uh, is facing then we look at environmental conservation how can we conserve environment is the same issue trying to solve the problem of environment you are conserving what you are conserving and that is the the doctrine of uh, environmental sustainability how to sustain environment for the people for the future generation to come and meet it so what do you do there are ways you can conserve the environment it's the same way you solve the environmental problems now you can use the same method to conserve the environment what are the methods you can use laws to you know guide against some of the abuse what of the falling of trees that is a deforestation that is going on all over the country the forest resources have been depleted because of even when we talk about poaching that is getting into some of these forests and killing animals this animal needed to be they are part of the environment and they needed to be preserved so when we are talking about conservation it can be done number one through you know environmental education educate people let them know the danger let them know the consequence then number two by law instrument of law to preserve or to conserve the one that we have and the one that has been tampered with how to rehabilitate them 
also can be done through the instrument of law. So we know the environmental resources, environmental problems, and environmental conservation. These three topics, they go hands in hands. That is why we take time to take them together because they are almost uh, uh, related.